Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to take a quick second and we're gonna look at the difference between stainless steel reducers and which one might work best for your next project. All right guys, so here we have the two main types of reducers that I use. We have a concentric sanitary reducer, which anytime I'm doing fixture work, that's probably my go-to. But I've started manufacturing these swedge style reducers. And what this is for, this is for when you're actually gonna try and do, like maybe you, you're making a downpipe or something and you're really tight on space. So you can see the actual reducing part of this is only, you know, less than an inch. And you can actually, we, we leave them long like this in case that's how you want them. You can see right now they're actually about the same, pretty close to the same length. But you can actually cut this reducer all the way back, making it to where you can have a bend pretty much come right up against, if you're on the back of a turbo, right up against a flange, you have a really tight area. These actually work super well to... Um, cut back and, and really make it to where you can get in a tight space. So we got both our reducers here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one down and see how tight we can get it. Okay, so we got it all cut down on the bandsaw, cleaned up, belt sanded flat for the most part. All right, so you can see now how small that actually gets compared to a concentric, right? So we've got a two inch V-band here. So let's say you've got a two inch section that you need to get up to two and a half, right? And you, let's say you have a tight space, so you can see the layout of that, okay? Compared to going to a swedge style reducer and how much tighter you could actually make that joint. Okay. All right, guys, I hope that made sense. Uh, just a quick video this week. Uh, I got a little busy at the shop, didn't have time to really film what I wanted to. I'm working on some more stuff right now. So make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, for subscribers, we're gonna be trying to do some giveaways here soon. So make sure you're subscribed. We'll probably also put a email sign up. Uh, we'll be emailing out some, uh, some giveaways and stuff like that. So look for that down in the description and we'll see you in the next one.